One of the aspects of selling art, paintings is what I'm basically talking about now, that most people don't even think about is the frame. Well, the frame is very important in making a sale on art. I can tell you after 25 years of doing this as an art gallery owner that the frame is very important if your painting is one that requires a frame. So as an artist or even someone who's going to sell a piece of artwork that they have, and it could be an old piece of artwork, you need to take in consideration framing costs and what you can do. So here's what I do when I look at paintings. First of all, for my artists, I have one recommendation. I make it to everyone that I represent. Put the most expensive frame on your paintings that you can afford. Don't be chintzy when it comes to a painting frame. It represents you, it represents your painting, and if you have a very cheap frame because you're cheap on that end, it's not good. And even if you need to go to your art gallery, uh, gallerist and say, listen, can you help me? Most will. And if they won't, at least they can make recommendations of who to use and where to go. There's different kinds of frames that you can use. One, you can just use a pre-made frame, or a good framer, and that's fine. That's especially fine if you're dealing with someone who is a, a beginning artist and really can't afford it, but you still need to get some kind of quality that also matches the painting. If you have a very elaborate painting with lots of things going on, you may want to have a more simplistic frame around it. You don't want to have two things competing. Colors, generally, if you go with silver or gold, are always going to be winners. Some of my artists like to use black. One of the things that I found by my artists is there's a lot of the, the artists I represent use the same framer over and over and try to keep a consistency. Ed Mel is a great example of this. He's used the same framer for 40 years. His paintings are worth as much because of the great frames as the artwork themselves. Everybody wants a Mel frame on their painting, as they should be. Dixon, a deceased artist, also used certain frames. And it's also good when I can get a painting that has a Dixon frame, I look at this as a big advantage. But if I get a frame that's really just a terrible piece of framing, I'm going to change it out before I ever show the painting. And you should do the same. If you have an old painting and you want to go sell it, don't throw away the frame in case it's worth money as the artist's frame, but at least get it framed and show in a potentially to, your, to the buyer that they can see beyond that. So remember, when you're going to frame your work, think about longevity. What is it going to look like in 10 years, 20 years? Is this the look I want to have? Go ahead and spend the money if you can. Even if you can't, get something that's consistent and at least not cheap. Because framing is an important aspect. I've seen many paintings that I couldn't sell. I changed the frame and they sell like that. Remember, framing is important. Don't underlook this part of the business.